So I wanted to talk a little bit about the recent information we've received regarding purchasable Spartan points in Halo the Master Chief Collection. In 343's recent Halo community update on Halo Waypoint, uh, they informed us that they will no longer be pursuing purchasable Spartan points in the MCC. Back in July is when 343 first mentioned anything about the possibility of implementing purchasable Spartan points into the MCC. And then in, they gave us an update on that in August where they said a decision has not been made on it yet. And now here we are in September and they have announced that they are no longer pursuing uh, purchasable Spartan points for uh, Halo the Master Chief Collection. Now purchasable Spartan points was going to be 343's way of monetizing Halo the Master Chief Collection. Uh, right now, as of now, right now in the game, you can earn points and they were previously called season points. Now they're calling them Spartan points and you can earn these Spartan points for the first 100 rank ups and then you can earn additional Spartan points through completing challenges. Uh, but now 343, they're, they're making some changes to that. Now you'll be able to earn Spartan points for every rank up and they are going to retroactively grant you Spartan points for the ranks you've already uh, progressed through. And I believe those changes are going to take place in November. Now, purchasable Spartan points are what they sound like. It was going to allow players to spend real money to buy Spartan points, and then you can spend those Spartan points to unlock certain items in the game. Now, when 343 first mentioned this idea of purchasable Spartan points for MCC, it received a lot of pushback. A lot of people weren't happy. People were saying, no, we don't want this game to be monetized. It's it's not a free game. And uh, considering its history of being like one of the worst video game launches of all time and how long it was in a broken state, it isn't right to monetize this game now. Now, I had a different reaction to this. And I, I'm somebody who was very critical of 343. So keep that in mind. Like, I, I, I'm not one to defend 343. No, I'm very critical of them. But when it came to this, purchasable Spartan points, I didn't think it was that big of a deal, and I still don't. And if this means they will continue to support MCC, then I'm cool with it. Like, if given the choice between MCC with purchasable Spartan points and future support for the game, or MCC with no purchasable Spartan points, and they just cut all future support or, or dial back the support. Yeah, I, I would take an MCC that has purchasable Spartan points and they continue to support it. Now, I don't know if the decision to implement Spartan points or, or not has any influence on how much they're going to support the MCC going forward. I don't know that. I'm just saying if given the choice between the, between the two, yeah, I would take an MCC with Spartan purchasable Spartan points and continued support. And I don't think it's that crazy to think 343 would dial back support for a game that isn't monetized and isn't generating enough revenue for them. MCC has been out for a while. It released in 2014. The game goes on sale all the time. There's no microtransactions. So I could see how 343 would look at this game and think it, it wouldn't make sense to keep supporting it when they're not making that much money off of it anymore. And I can understand why they would want to add microtransactions if if that if they were going to continue supporting the game. Now, listen, I don't like microtransactions. I, I don't. I just think the difference between me and some other people is there's other people who look at microtransactions as ruining a game. And I don't think that's always the case. And you also got to be mindful of the which method of monetization that a, that a, a studio uses for their game because there's different ways you can monetize a game you can do loot boxes you can do uh well pay to win loot boxes then you could just do cosmetic loot boxes you could have a store where you buy specific items and then in mcc's case they were talking about purchasable spartan points you purchase a spartan point and then you spend that to unlock an item and you will also be able to unlock spartan points by ranking up and completing challenges and 343 is going to retroactively grant people who have already uh progressed through a bunch of ranks they're going to retroactively grant them a bunch of spartan points 
So this is like the most <laughs> innocent way of monetizing a game th that I can think of off the top. I, I mean, come on, man. Come on, man. Like th that is not, it's not that big of a deal, the purchasable Spartan points thing. Now, some people say, oh, it just starts here. It, this is where it starts. And, and, and then it, it's going to get worse and worse and worse. But we don't know that. We don't know what would happen going forward. And again, if given the choice between continued support for MCC or no support or dialing support back, I'm not going to say, OK, yep, end support for the game and no purchasable Spartan points because of the possibility that the, the monetization gets worse and worse over time. Like, no, I'm not I'm not going to say because it could possibly get worse. Yeah, don't do the don't do the monetization thing and end support for the game. Like, no. And you also got to remember, like, if 343 wants to, to do loot boxes or if they want to monetize, they, they can monetize the game however they want, right? And how often do they really listen to us? Well, I'll tell you how often they listen to us. Not a lot, except when it comes to monetization. That is like, that's like the one time, the, the one of the few times 343 actually listens to us when it comes to monetization. They reduced the prices of the Halo Infinite store when people bitched about it. And now they're no longer pursuing spur, uh, purchasable Spartan points after people bitched about it. The monetization, that is when 343 does listen. So we have evidence that they do listen to our feedback on that. So we have reason to believe that if 343 were to implement purchasable Spartan points in MCC, that, that it wouldn't expand beyond that. Because that is like the one area they listen to us when it comes to monetization. And I'm not saying they listen to us completely, but they listen to us regarding monetization more than many other things. And, and that's like, the th and that's the weird thing. Like, I wish it was the opposite. I wish they listened to us regarding content and gameplay and features and then not listen to us when it comes to monetization. Like, I wish it was the, if I had to choose between one or the other, I wish it was the other way around. Listen to us on like the actual gameplay, the core of the game, and then don't listen to us when it comes to your prices and shit. Like if, if I was given the choice between the two, I'd take that scenario. So anyways, people are celebrating that 343 has decided not to monetize Master Chief Collection. And like, I just, again, if this has no influence at all on whether or not they're going to continue to support MCC going forward, then okay, great. No, mon we're not monetizing MCC. Thumbs up. But if this means they're dialing back support, then no, then I'm not, a, I'm not a fan of that. I mean, it be ex ex again, and remember, this isn't just, they're not just, it's purchasable Spartan points is what I'm trying to say. It's not like that it's such an in innocent way to monetize the fucking game, man. It really is. And I know this is an unpopular take, but this is my take. Remember when I, when I put out, there's videos I put out that I know are going to be unpopular. I don't put this out. I don't put this out thinking everyone's going to agree with me. No, I, I know many people won't agree with me, but this is genuinely how I feel. Now I will say if this decision does impact support for the game in some way, 343 could have could have messaged that better, right? They they could have just been like, yo, if we don't do this, if we don't monetize the game, then that might mean we dial back support. You know, like they, they could have messaged that a little better if that's what this means. MCC is like the only game I play still. Um, oh, well, it's one of the only games. I'll dabble in Valorant here and there. And, um, and, um, play I mean, I mean that's pretty much about it. it it's mainly just mcc is all i play and i don't even play it that often and so i would love continued support for the game i'm not saying mcc is perfect uh, and th that it doesn't that they fixed all the issues no it definitely still has issues it's not a perfect game there's things about the original games that were uh, superior still but it's like the most practical way to play classic halo right now and so i i do want them to continue updating the game now 343 might look at this as okay you guys don't want 
purchasable Spartan points in MCC. All right, that's fine, but we're not going to support the game going forward. Instead, we're going to direct our attention to Halo Infinite. We'll further monetize that game, further support that game, and we'll kind of abandon MCC. And I'm just like, no, no like I'd rather you guys pay pay attention to MCC, the, su the superior game, the game with a ton of content. Like, let, let's focus on that game, right? I'd rather you support that game even if that means monetizing it in the form of purchasable Spartan points. That's my take. I don't know why that's a, that, why that's a hot take. I, I just don't get it. I mean, I guess it's because people like people just don't like microtransactions and I get it. I don't like microtransactions either. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not somebody who spends a ton of money on microtransactions. I don't, I do. I, I bear. It's only been like a handful of times I've spent money on microtransactions and it's going to be even less going forward. So, you know, me, someone who is talking kind of favorable of the idea of them monetizing MCC in the form of purchasable Spartan points, I, I'm, I'm not somebody, I'm not a fucking whale. I, I don't spend a lot of money on microtransa microtransactions at all. I'm willing to bet there is a ton of people so against monetizing MCC, and those people spend a lot more on microtransactions than I do, right? So that, that's the funny thing about it. And I mean, I guess that's fair if those people like microtransactions, right? If they admit that they, they don't mind microtransactions, but I'm also willing to bet a bunch of those people don't like microtransactions. They say they don't like microtransactions and then they spend a, money, a, a ton of money on microtransactions. And I don't think you're a hypocrite. Like if you've ever spent any money at all on microtransactions, because I mean, because the alternative to the free to play model, like a free to play game with microtransactions is usually a $60 game with no microtransactions or, or in some cases with microtransactions. So you might be playing a free game and you might have bought some microtransactions, but you didn't spend $60 worth. So they're not getting that like full game price from you. So, you know what I mean? I don't think you're wrong if you've ever spent money on a microtransactions, but I do think there are people that bitch about microtransactions and spend a ton of money on microtransactions. So anyways, those are my thoughts. I'm not, I'm not celebrating this announcement like other people are. I, I just hope, hopefully this doesn't have any influence on their decision to further support the game or not. And I understand how people feel about monetizing this game that was once in a horrible state for years. I get, I get how you feel about that. But again, if given the choice between the two scenarios that I laid out, I'd pick the one that gets us continued support. And also, like I explained, we, we have reason to believe that things wouldn't get worse, uh, that they wouldn't expand upon the purchasable Spartan points. We have, we have evidence of them listening to us regarding monetization. So that's going to do it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Peace out, everybody.